Hey Julie, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. You've been doing this a really long time. 20, well, 26 years. That's even longer than we've known each other. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, even that's like 26 years as, as little Ray, but that takes us back to 1995 when really I did my first programs in uh, elementary schools in 1988, just with a few animals I had as pets, 1989 actually, with some animals I had as pets, to get ex experience for teachers college. We won't talk about how old Paul is in this video, but I will ask you, you had some, some animals that you've worked with for a very long time. Yes. You must have some favorites. Yeah. Some Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. And uh, probably one of the more famous animals we have is this guy right here, at least for me. This is Storm and Norman. And Storm and Norman is a common snapping turtle. And I actually got Storm and Norman from somebody who had him as a pet in 1995. And the very first school show that I ever did in 1995 was at Jock Bale uh, Public School in Barhaven. And Storm and Norman was with me. He was probably about, I don't know, stay still, probably about that big around when I, when I had him at the show. But I thought it was really cool to have a local species of turtle uh, uh, that we could utilize. And he was a turtle that had been taken out of his natural habitat and unfortunately uh, could not go back into his natural habitat because they didn't know where he had come from. But he is a common snapping turtle, which is actually Canada's... Uh, largest uh, species of reptile by weight. So he's the heaviest reptile that lives in Canada. Now there are some sea turtles out in the ocean, so we're not counting them, but of all kind of the mainland Canadian reptiles, these guys are the largest with the record in Canada. He probably weighs, I bet you he's 25, 30 pounds right and now. And very strong. And very strong. Yeah. And the record in Canada is 86 pounds. So talking about two and a half, three times the size of this turtle. So, and you said he's about 26 years old. 26, 27 years old 27 now. 27 years old, and the lifespan on these guys? We really don't know for sure. Uh, we believe it is very reasonable that you can live well over 100 years and even over 150 years. Uh, so they have an unbelievably uh, long duration. That's amazing. So, and of course they're called snapping turtles because, uh, you know, people are like, what do turtles do when they get afraid? Well, they have this reputation for hiding. Uh, Storm and Norman, even now, if he gets nervous, he will actually try to snap a bit. And there's two really important parts of a turtle shell. Oh, there you go. The cap on his back is called the carapace. So he's got this great shell. Nobody's going to bug him there. But if a predator turns him upside down, his plastron or the belly plate is quite small. He doesn't have the same plate that other turtles and tortoises do. So if an animal turns him upside down, there's all this fleshy tissue in here. So what you're looking at is an all you can eat turtle buffet Aww. so for that reason when snapping turtles especially on land where they have predators if you go towards one they will snap to defend themselves and they will not wait and see if an animal is going to try to turn them over because they know if they do they're in a lot of trouble so that looks pretty dangerous that that uh, that bite yeah he would definitely hurt he's not gonna like bite your finger off or anything like that there are alligator snapping turtles in the u.s that bite hard enough that they can bite your finger off and i will tell you guys in the springtime you often see turtles crossing the road in the summer those are female turtles that are doing that to lay their eggs, they're nesting. If you ever see a turtle crossing the road, please stop your car, help the turtle across the road. And if I can lower him down to the floor, because this is important, because a lot of people will ask me, well, if a turtle is crossing the road and it's a snapping turtle, what's the best way to move them? Because if you try to pick them up, their neck is super long. If I grab him here, his head will come all the way back almost to my fingers. And if you're not comfortable, be like, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, but you can actually grab them by their tails. If you have a floor mat in your car, probably the best thing to do is if you grab them by their tail, uh, you can drag them onto the floor mat from your car and then drag him by his tail and the floor mat off the road. So you have to have, to have the courage to get behind them and pick them up by and that tail. And is it true that we moved them in the direction they were headed? That's right. So if he's going in that direction, they know where they're going. Even if there's water on one side of the road, it's a great question, Julie, and there's a forest on the other. If they're going to the forest, they know where they're going. And some turtles will move up to two kilometers to lay their eggs. So please don't put them in your car and drive them to water. They're not lost. They know where they're going. Awesome. Amazing Canadian snapping turtle. Thank you, Paul. Thank, Thank you, Julie. Storm and Norman. <laughs> Storm and Norman. We've been doing this together since 1995, 26 years. And even now when I do have the uh, privilege to go out and visit a school or 
an event. Storm and Norman is an animal that always comes with me, so I always take them. Right, buddy? Hey guys, if you did like this video and you want to learn more about any specific animal, please make a comment below. And by all means, please make sure that you do like the video, subscribe to our page, and please share. If you'd like to support animals like Storm and Norman and the other animals here at Little Rays, please click the link below in the uh, description box for more information on how you can help our Foundation for Animal Rescue and Education. Thank you.